How do you create a roadmap inside of Jira? Well, there's a couple of different ways depending on which tier you have. So I'm gonna show you the basic one and then I'm gonna show you the advanced one. And I'm gonna let you determine which one's better for you and your team. All right, so here I am inside of Jira and essentially you just need to go to a project. We're gonna start off with the basic mode first and you wanna go into any project that you have and there's gonna be a timeline capability built into your board. This timeline is what's gonna allow you to create a roadmap. And so the way this thing works is all your epics are gonna show, and then you can decompose your epics into your stories or tasks or bugs. And unfortunately, in this basic view, that's it. You just get the epic and the story, task, and bug as a child, and that's it. But if, as long as you can live with that restriction, and can keep in mind, everybody gets this one. This is the basic roadmap, then you're able to put dates on your epics, you're able to put dates on your stories, tasks and bugs. If you're not able for some reason, able to put the dates on your stories because they're inheriting the values from your sprint, you can simply come over here to the three dots, configure your timeline. This is gonna redirect you over here and then you can pick schedule uh, by starting due dates or schedule by sprint dates. So depending on how you wanna be able to schedule those stories, tasks or bugs, I recommend you pick the right selection there. But once you go back to your timeline there, you can be able to put dates on for pretty much any issue that you want. So you just drag and drop. And that's it. That just defines your start and due date. And now you can connect things. So you, if you hover over these issues, you will see these little bubbles that pop up. And if you click on one and you drag it to the next, you'll be able to create a dependency. And if it's red, that means that the end date of the previous task is after the start date of the dependency. So you wanna adjust your things around and you can essentially build out your entire uh, roadmap this way. Now, some pros of doing this. Number one, it's free. It's part of everybody's subscription, whether you're on free, standard, premium, or enterprise. Everybody has this basic timeline, this basic roadmap, and it works really, really well. You just need to make sure you have a board. And if you're in a business template, it, there's a timeline section there too that's gonna behave exactly the same. You might just not have epics. So, but other than that, you, you do have the ability to create a roadmap. Now, the bad part is that this is a basic timeline. And so the issues that are in your project are the only issues that are fair game in this timeline. So if you wanted to track across two different teams, two different Jira projects, that's not gonna be possible in this basic one because if you try to alter your filter for your board to include two different projects, then the timeline completely goes away and you can't even use it at all. So as long as you're okay with just being able to create these roadmaps just for your team, then this basic timeline is gonna work for you. Now, let's start talking about the advanced roadmap or what I like to call the JAR. Now, creating a JAR advanced roadmap, before we get into that, I gotta give you a big, huge disclaimer. And that is, the JAR is only available if you're on Jira Premium. So you need to be in the cloud premium or enterprise versions. If you're on standard or free, you're not gonna be able to do this and you're gonna have to two X your bill. Now, as an aside, there is a pretty cool company called Visor that allows you to create roadmaps. Check out their video down in the description. They allow you to be able to create roadmaps without having to pay two arms, two legs, and two kidneys for doubling your bill to be able to use the jar. So again, you didn't hear it from me, but there are options if you don't wanna double your bill. All right, so how do we create a Jira Advanced Roadmap? So back in Jira, there's a plan section up here. You simply click on Create Plan, and then you're gonna give it a name. Now, this is where I tell teams, you gotta think big, you gotta think bigger than just your team, um, specifically because since you're trying to connect two or more teams, then I would recommend you call this like the name of your project or the product that you're building. So I'm gonna call this some awesome product, and then you're gonna pull in your data sources, right? So I recommend you bring in the projects, but boards will work as well. And so you bring in this one, and then I'm gonna bring in the next one here. And once you bring them in, you hit create. And now I'm gonna have issues from multiple projects. And you can see that they're multiple projects because of the keys. So these are all my mobile ones. But if I scroll down, you're gonna see my MJT ones from the other ones. Now the behavior is pretty much the same. And I do have dedicated videos on how to use the Jerry Advanced Roadmap. So again, link in the description down below. But the biggest takeaway is that if you switch over to timeline view here, you're going to be able to create a date for this task and a date for this task, and notice that they're in different projects, and now I can link them together. I can put dependencies across teams, and that, my friends, is why we use the advanced roadmaps, because unlike the basic ones, 
we're able to do some cross team strategic planning and road mapping, which is just not possible with that basic one. So that's how you create these roadmaps. Obviously the very basic one is super easy because it just ships with your project that's in your board. But to create the advanced roadmap, you do need to be on that cloud premium and then you just simply create. Now there are some permissions that you may or may not have to worry about by default. Anybody who has a Jira license should be able to create a plan, but if for some reason you are not able to, I would recommend you talk to your Jira admin because they do have the ability to change that setting so that only Jira admins can create plans. So try it out, and if it doesn't work, talk to your Jira admin. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Many of you aren't subscribed to the channel, and it's the end of the year, so help us get to these goals that we're trying to hit. And so just make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're getting value out of this video. And speaking of value, if you're getting value, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And then speaking of even more value, if you need help, if you're struggling and you're like, hmm, not quite sure how to do this, what do I do now that I have this roadmap, how does it work? Um, I do have in that link tree down below in the description, I have one-on-one -on -one time. So whether you need 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour or a few hours, I do offer one-on-one -on -one services. So if you need a little bit of help, check out my options down below and let me help you out. I also have some paid courses, free courses, and a bunch of other resources that I highly recommend you check out using those links in the description. That's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.